My name's Perna, and I'm going to tell you about the worst bloody holiday ever. I was at the Royal Palms Resort on Benoy, working as a bodyguard for some asshole CEO. I figured once he left the island, I'd have a good week to relax on the beach, enjoy a Mai Tai or two. But no, that wasn't to be. As I woke up one morning to discover that the goddamn zombie apocalypse had arrived. A local lifeguard by the name of Cinnamore saved my life. And soon after that, I discovered I was immune to whatever this plague was. I met a few others who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States. Logan, an ex-football player and full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit on me. And Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. And from there, things really went to hell. The army tried to contain the infection, but they were bloody useless. Benoit itself was totally isolated. It was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who flew us out of there on the colonel's helicopter. We were off that goddamn island at last. And everyone we tried to save back on Benoit, well, they just didn't make it. Except for that little native girl, Merima. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to finally find a safe haven. Get your hands off me! What the hell? What is going on here? Oh, get off me! Uh, get it off me! Get it off! What's with the cuffs? Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Hardy. Don't resist and you'll be fine. We just need to be sure you don't pose Man, a threat. we no threat. The threat's on Benoit. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. The two others will come with me. Love. Hey, do we look like goddamn guinea pigs I'm to you? I'm a citizen of the USA, man. I got motherfucking rights. Back off, Serpo. But just stay out of it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Palanai, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors? Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here.
They have a very high tolerance, Mr. Serpo. I've already administered three doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Just be careful. We don't want them dying on us. What about the native woman, Yerima? That's a more complicated case. She's being taken to another location. Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye. Oh, God. Oh, my head. Oh, what the hell happened? The motherfuckers drugged us. Who are you? Hey, we're talking to you. I'm nobody, really. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. What? They plant you here to spy on us. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all immune to this. How'd you get here? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So... Right. Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All I know is there's a naval blockade around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Christ, I'm still woozy from these bloody drugs. Oh, my head. Where'd the others get to? Did they take them while I was out? This is another fine mess you've gotten yourself into, Perna. This is Colonel Hardy. The ship's being compromised. If you're down in the hold, I'm opening all the cell doors. Need to find a way out of this mess. Where the hell is everyone? This is the captain. Engine room to your copy. You have to hold that area. You hear me? We can't lose the engine room. We're losing power in the lower decks. If that happens, that entire area will be cut off. Does anyone copy this? Captain, we had to withdraw from the lower decks. We did... Jesus, they're here! Poor bastard. Thinks he's gonna live through this. Okay, the way's clear. Whoever took care of that, you deserve accommodation. You just saved a lot of lives.
ship's going to sink if it's not brought back under control. You're really starting to piss me off! Wake up. You all right? Ah. Ah. What happened? Get up. The ship. The ship's dead in the water. Can you walk? I... maybe. Where... Palinite. where am I? But it's really not safe here on the beach. There's an infection. Some sort of plague. Again? Are you fucking kidding me? The whole island's gone to hell. Christ. I can't bloody win. We'll talk later. Right now you need to move. Head for the Paradise Survival Camp. Look for the big treehouse. You'll find other survivors there. Take this. In the meantime, I'll see if anyone else washed up on the beach. This storm was a disaster. Jesus, what a mess.
wasn't even spiced. Oh, thanks heaps. Those monsters nearly caught me. Yeah, I heard from Harlow that you were coming. Oh, thank God. Oh, Jesus. I thought we were goners. Where the hell did you come from? We were on a ship and it capsized, so now it looks like we're fucked, same as you. But maybe if we keep those things from using the bridge, we can unfuck ourselves. You're not telling me anything I don't know. The bridge is our bloody weak spot. We've got some fences. Maybe securing the other entrances will slow them down. But I need you to put them up. Can you lend a hand? I guess I can give you a hand. Uh, I appreciate it. Grab the rolled fences and put them up in the designated spots. We gotta get these barricades up. I'm glad you made it. I'm glad to see you. Thank God you went here. Yeah, they almost slow them down. Thanks. We need to hold them back. Here they come. They're coming from the gate. We need to hold them back. Defend, brothers. Here they come. Bloody hell, that was close. It's truth. I was hoping it wouldn't come to that, but they would have overrun us. Now, the fences are working, but you were right about the bridge. We need to blow it. It's too dangerous. Take this flare gun and use it to ignite the barrels by the bridge. Bugger! I heard the explosion. You blew the damn bridge? Was that really necessary? Oh, well, thank God you survived. Yeah, now I owe you something, motherfucker. Get up, you son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, I owe whoa. you something, too. Apparently, you've all met. I know what it looks like, but I swear to God, I meant you no harm. That operation was out of my hands. It was Serpo. So who was he? He works for a private concern. His superiors own my superiors, and they're the ones calling the shots. I'm sorry for what they did to you, but there's no way that he... What exactly are they doing here, Colonel? The rumor is they're trying to weaponize this plague for use as a bioweapon. Being immune... My guess is your blood is essential for their research. You knew this, yet you did nothing to stop them. I'm a soldier. I follow orders. Well, soldier, here's an order for you. Go fuck yourself. Just listen to me. I can help you. There's a military outpost in Henderson, and I know the commanding officer. They have food, water, weapons, and a way off this bloody island. <laughs> Last time we trusted the army, they threw us in a cage. Look, I understand how you feel. But we don't have much time here. This island, it's about to be nuked. Nuked? Yeah, we heard that same story on Benoit. Ain't no bombs fell there. Are you sure about that? This would explain all the air traffic recently. Choppers flying out with equipment crates. That's right. They have to cover up what they've done here. And once they're through evacuating the island... They're dropping a bomb? 
Listen, I trust this asshole about as far as I can throw him. But if what he's saying is true, we, we should need hear him to get out. off this goddamn island. Fuck me, man. So, Henderson, it is then. If that's the case, then we're all coming with you. All right then, let's move. Only five of us are immune, so some of us should stay and defend the camp while the rest scout for a way out of here. Good. Let's get to it. All right, Colonel. But if you're lying to us, God help you, because we sure won't. Hi. We need to talk. You and Hardy don't like each other very much, do you? Fucker locked me in the hold of a ship. I barely made it out in one piece. That's not going to cause any problems for the rest of us, is it? We've got enough to worry about. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Just tell me how to get to Henderson. The jungle's flooded from the monsoons, so I think the only way is by the sea. One of the other guys here is from Halai, and he says it's a fishing village. They should still have boats. Once you get one of them, it shouldn't be hard to reach Henderson. When are you leaving? How can I say no? Good. The sooner you get to Henderson, the sooner we get out of here. As you can see, we each contribute to the team's safety and well-being with our own particular talents. If you bring us the right supplies, you can take advantage of our talents too. Harlow, it's me. I found the lagoon, and there's a marina, but there's also a shitload of the infected. I need to clear them out before I can grab a boat. Found a Timmy Harlow. Finally, some good news. I'll ring you once I know if the road is passable. Okay, good luck. Hope this hunk of junk holds together. So much for the road. Henderson. So close and yet so far. <laughs> Fucking road is gone, Harlow. The storm took it out. Damn it. I was hoping we'd catch a break. If you got any bright ideas, I'm listening. <laughs> Listen, the road to Henderson is fucked, washed away. But I cleared out the marina, and if you help me find another way into town, I'll think about helping you. Deal? There's one brother who might be able to help you, but he's been gone for ages. We don't even know if he's still alive. Shame, too, because he meant a lot to the people here. Saved a lot of souls. He's a missionary named Marcus Villa. He's not local, but he knows the island like the back of his hand. Anyway, when we ran out of food, he went to fetch some from a store not far from him. That whole area was overrun early on, though. So like I said, he could be dead. All right. Go look for Marcus. 
He's the only one who knows another way to Henderson. Hey, over here! Go to be praised. Thank you for saving me. Not bad. Did the goat save you? Yes, of course they did. I knew they would deliver me. My disciples did not share my faith, which is why they are now carrier. I tried to warn them. But would they listen? No, they would not. You Marcus? Ah, see, si, si. Marcus Villa is my name. Uh, and to whom do I owe my eternal gratitude? Name's Perna. I heard you know how to get to Henderson. Henderson? Yes, yes, of course I know the way. You just went and fought those things? What if they beat you? Weren't you afraid? They can't infect me, I'm immune. Remarkable. Truly remarkable. Are you the only one who is immune? What is this? 20 fucking questions? There are five of us. We're using Paradise as a base camp. Paradise? Yes. I know what that is. You are truly a blessing from the goats. Amazing. I'm afraid I need to ask you for one more favor, however. Just one more. My flock will survive this, for they are blessed people. Man can do nothing to us. Now then. There is a place where we keep our provisions, but it is overrun with the infected. Bring them to me, and I will tell you how to get to Henderson. Okay, no worries. Good. Bring me the good stuff. Go! Get the things! Great work out there! Thanks for your help. Come on in. Babylon! Time to die! Oh, no, I don't feel well. I need painkillers. All right, here's your shit, mate. Now tell me how to get to Henderson. Truly a blessing from the goats. And now I will help you. There are Japanese bankers and tunnels from World War II scattered across the island. And some of them should be accessible. One of the tunnels will lead you to a highway that directly connects to Henderson. I have maps in my hut, in the jungle near a village. One of them will show you the way. You live in the jungle? That explains some things. I live to serve the people of Halai, but I prefer to live near the natives. I draw such strength from them. They have a rich culture, and I have learned so much. So much hidden knowledge, you see? Uh, but I ramble on. You must be in a hurry to leave. Okay. I wish you luck, my friend. Of here. If you're looking for Marcus, he's not here. Easy. He sent me to get something from his heart. No one is coming in here. My brother is deathly ill. Do you understand? You're letting me in. I'm sorry about your brother, but that doesn't really involve me. We were fine until you people came here. Now look what you have done. What you have unleashed. You want my help? Then you will help my brother. What's wrong with him? His temperature keeps changing. One minute he has a fever, the next he is hit with chills. And he gets the shakes. You bring him some medicine and I will let you in. Yeah. 
Once you bring the medicine, I'll open the gate. I need your help, Harlow. Got a medical situation here. What's going on? Are you injured? I'm fine. Listen, it's a long fucking story. I need to figure out what's wrong with someone and then treat it. He has fever, chills, and the shakes. Do you have medicine for this? Sounds like the beginning stages of malaria. My medical supplies were all lost in the monsoon. But you can treat him with Jesuit's bark from the same cola tree. There's a grove up on a hill near the destroyed road. Okay, I'll find some of that bark. Thanks. This should help your brother. Now open the gate. What is this? No medicine? It's medicine. You need to talk to my father. He will decide what to do. You have something for my son? This is for your son. It'll make him better. What is this? The bark of a tree? I was expecting aspirin or antibiotics. I can go find my own tree bark. We lost all of our medicine, but I talked to a doctor and she says this is the same thing. If this doesn't work, I will come for you. Now what do you want? I need to get a map that Marcus told me would be here. Those are his things. Take whatever you want. Nothing. A photo of Marcus and a Dr. Kessler? I thought Marcus was a missionary. That fucking idiot. This isn't a map of the tunnels, just a part of the jungle. Why the hell would Marcus keep notes on the natives' rituals? Got a bad feeling about the map I'm looking for isn't here. Does he have any other papers around here? No, and I warn you not to be friends with that man. He's not my friend. I only talked to him because I needed help. His help? He doesn't help anyone. He's evil, that one. Pure evil. That's why the elders chased him away. I heard that he wanted to recreate the old rituals. The old terrible rituals of the distant past. He was warned that those rituals only unleash evil, but he wouldn't listen. He kept trying and trying, and then the elders finally had enough. They banished him, told him never to come back. Why was he trying to recreate those rituals? I need to care for my son. You want answers, you get them yourself from Marcus. Cut him off! Where's Marcus? He and I need to have words. He's not here. Said he had to get to paradise to meet the blessed. Said that they're immune. He was all worked up. Couldn't wait to try a ritual or something. It wasn't making much sense. Shoot! Fucking hit! Ah, oh, damn it. This is all gotta go. We're gonna have to look for something. God damn, this is bad. I know there are immune among you. Step forward and honor the goats. With your help, we will conquer the evil that has infected Palanai. You are the key that can save humankind. Villa, are you out of your bloody mind? Don't do this. Don't you see? You immune are the cure for this pestilence. And if you will not step forward and sacrifice yourself for the good of all, then you shall suffer a trial by fire. We must feast on your flesh to ensure the future of the human race.
Get your ass back to paradise now. Oh God, oh God. I'm on We got more of them. Time for these assholes to die. Bloody zombies! whole fucking thing on fire. Wait, what? Stop wasting time. Get back here. Heads up. We're running out of time.
Quick, get outside! So what do we do now? We continue with the plan, of course. Show me the map. Christ, is this it? What a mess. Apparently these are the entrances. Even so, they're both in the flooded area, right? Yes. These entrances are inaccessible. I wouldn't necessarily rule them out. They might still be useful. Here's Kessler's place. He might know something about the tunnels. I mean, he did work with Villa, right? What if he's just as crazy? Kessler's not Villa. He's a real scientist. And if he's still alive, I'm sure he'll help us. I was originally sent here to consult with him. He's been studying the disease for years. He published a paper on it. And if anyone here knows about the tunnels, it's Kessler. And why exactly didn't you tell us all that before? Because Vila said he had a map, and I wasn't even sure Kessler was still alive. Look, if you're all too afraid to go, I'll go on my own. Listen, if Harlow say he cool, then I say we check him out. I mean, what other choice do we got? Well, we could stay here and party and enjoy the last little bit of life we got left. Yeah, you do that, one. Me? I'm going with. All right, then. Kessler it is. Fine. I guess I'll just have to bring the party with. I left some things in her life. Hey, we should talk. I have seen a lot of crazy shit in my life, man. But I never had anyone who wanted to take a bite out of my hide. <laughs> Shit now, that's for sure. sure. Let me know if you need any help. There are some things we need to discuss. Is there something I can do? If I can electrify the fences, those damn things will fry when they run into them. But I need a power source. Cables and batteries should do it. Will you bring me some? Ask me again later. Fine. But don't come bitching to me when those things get in here. I need your help. for me still in one piece. Ah! You you not Please, you. come here. I'd like to ask... Forget about Marcus. We need to stay focused. Figure out how we should talk. I left some things in her life. I know you're worried about Dr. Kessler, but he's not like Marcus. 
Dr. Kessler spent years assisting the World Health Organization and did groundbreaking research on how viruses mutate when they come into contact with external factors. And sure, he might be a tad eccentric, but who isn't these days? Oh, I hope you're right about him, Harlow. Trust me, he's a good man. He wouldn't harm a fly. Are you ready to go? I think I can help. Good. Hey, keep so what happens happen, if all right? Kessler doesn't want to give We're us the map? to find someplace safe. You need me to hold on to anything for you? You know you want it. Hello, I found Kessler's outpost. All right, find a way in. This place has seen better days. Good, there's an intercom. Dr. Kessler, you in there? Who is it? What do you want? My name's Perna, and I need your help. It won't take more than a couple of minutes. Sir, that's what I want to discuss with you. I, um, I read your study on Kuru disease. It was bloody brilliant. Uh, can we talk? I swear I can't get a moment's peace around here. Very well, come in. Look at that. All right, I let you in. Now tell me what you want. I'm trying to reach Henderson and was told you know how to get there via the old war tunnels. There aren't any tunnels. Now get out of here. I am a scientist, not a tour guide. Stop wasting my time. Your pal Marcus Villa claimed otherwise. Wasn't he your research partner? You saw Marcus? I haven't seen him in ages. He was brilliant, you know, in his own way. But let us just say there are reasons we no longer work together. Very good reasons. I'm not surprised. That crazy bastard tried to burn me alive. Said he wanted to eat my skin. He wanted to eat you? That doesn't make any sense. Sure, he went to live with the natives, but they've always struck me as peaceful people. Perhaps he was worse off than I even imagined. But that does not explain why he would resort to cannibalism. That crazy wanker claimed he was trying to find a cure for the plague and needed some flesh from someone who's immune. Wait a moment, are you saying that you are immune to what's happening out there? And then, this certainly changes things, doesn't it? Yes, I'm afraid it does. Yeah, I have a map that you should find helpful. But if you want it, you need to help me with something. I have been researching this disease for many years now. Kuru has been endemic to the indigenous people here for centuries. This outbreak is one of many, and each incident is a little different, as is the trigger that reawakens the plague. It's truly remarkable how this prion disease adapts on changes, how it mutates when exposed to external factors, the speed at which it affects the host organism. Astonishing, really. But science can be unpredictable. Dangerous, even, you understand? Yeah. That explains the shit out in the greenhouse. A truly unfortunate accident. One that was largely the fault of my assistance. I assure you, I had very little to do with what happened out there. Look, I really don't give a shit either way. Just tell me what I need to do. I am merely trying to make it clear that I am not an evil man. In times such as these, it is easy for men of science to be blamed, persecuted for their actions. Especially by people who possess lesser minds. My four assistants were in possession of some reagents, chemicals, contained within vials. Unfortunately, those vials are out there in the greenhouse. Bring them to me and I will give you the map. 
Do we have a deal? Yeah. You will probably need to kill all four of them in order to secure the vials. But there is no saving them now. You will be putting them out of their misery. Just have the map ready. I cannot conduct my tests without the reagents. Oh, hell. I... Good, good. Now I can conduct my tests. I only require a sample of your blood. I'm about ready to give you a gobful, you lunatic. Give me the map. I am doing a poor job of explaining myself. You are clearly immune, that much is certain. But that does not mean that you are safe. There is a strong possibility that the virus is in your body. And if it is, it could mutate. And depending on how it mutates, you could be in grave danger. All I need is a small blood sample. I run a simple test and then we'll know. This is for your own good. Okay, do it. Okay, you will feel a little prick. Nothing to worry about. Do this task for me and the map is yours. You're wasting too much time. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? If I had a little sweet, I would give you one. And I'd shove it up your ass. I was merely trying to lighten the mood. Oh, it'll only take a moment to prepare the sample. Please be patient. This is truly astonishing. I've got your results. You are completely resistant to the virus. <laughs> you think I didn't know that? No, it is not what you think. Your resistance to the virus has kept it from multiplying, from wreaking havoc on your body. But it has not destroyed the virus. It has merely suppressed it. You need to be very careful. Any contact with certain types of reagents could trigger a mutation. And if the virus mutates, it stands to reason that you could lose your immunity. Or much, much, much worse. Unfortunately, there are so many factors to consider that it is impossible for me to tell you exactly what might happen. But one thing is clear. You should avoid anything that would put you at risk. Like what? Your plan was to use the tunnels to reach Henderson, correct? Yes, the Japanese created them during World War II and later they were used to store chemical weapons. In the 50s, during a monsoon, there was a leak, and some of those chemicals worked their way into the water. The Aussies sent in a battalion of engineers and soldiers to clean them up, but they weren't successful. When they went into the tunnels, one of them must have been infected. The virus mutated and all hell broke loose. The Aussies had to blow the entrances to prevent the infection from spreading. Most of the men were still down in the tunnels. I have long suspected that exposure to those chemicals is what caused the infected soldier to mutate. Anyway, you need to find the old Jesuit mission. A passageway runs from the ruins down into the tunnels. Here is the map, as I promised. I cannot stop you from going down there. That is your decision. But if you do, use an abundance of caution. Try to avoid prolonged exposure to the chemicals. I wish you best of luck. Thanks, Kessler. Hello, you there? Thank God I was starting to worry. Did you get the map from Kessler? Yeah, I got it. Might be a bitch going through the tunnels, though. You can fill me in when we meet up. Where are you going now? I need to find the entrance to the tunnels. In the hang of this. Help me with one in. Wow, this place is stunning. It has to be centuries old. You see the entrance? Don't worry, I'll find it. This place is much older than I expected. Incredible.
I found a door. These stairs lead down into a crypt. I think I found it, Hardy. Just the entrance. Is it accessible? Nope. It's full of water. Shit. All right. Stay there. We're on our way down. Maybe Trevor can figure something out. All right. Jesus, that was close. You good? Okay, Trevor, get us out of here. I left some things in Halai. I need your help. Have you thought about checking the beach? Will you check on something for me? I need my book from my clinic. I think I'll know how to deal with this water. Can you bring me a few things? So you're gonna wander around in those dark tunnels? Yeah, you're dead. Been nice knowing you. How are we supposed to get past this? I need a pump. Before we left, I talked to an old man from Halai. He worked in these tunnels when the Aussies were here, and he said there's still equipment in a workroom not far from here. There should be a pump in there. Can you bring it back? All right. Good. Once you bring the pump back, I'll take care of this water. Have you thought about checking the beach? This better Will you work. Check on That's all I can. Say. I left some things in Halai. I need your... Help. Some vacation is going to have to be. I need... Not bad. I left some things in Halai. Well, if you're ready, so am I. Is there something I can do? You should go down and check the beach. Something from that wreck ship might have washed ashore. Something we can use. You should go see what you can find. This isn't a good time. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Perhaps you will change your mind. This better work. That's all I can say. I need my book from my clinic. I need your help. Lovely. This little... Is it operational? Yeah, this is an old Rusky machine. Let's hope those commies knew what they were doing. All right. Let's see what it can do. See what that pump can do. Turn it off! Stop that bloody racket! Turn this thing off! They're attacking now. from all sides! Come on, that's close!
I'll look out! Watch out! Bloody Jeez, waste of skin! Bastard. Let's put yeah, these mines to good use. Just don't blow to yourself up in the process. from the pump is going to keep we're trapped to defend ourselves. And it's going to take a while to drain all that water. There's no way we'll survive with the weapons we have. We could use those mines. They'll help, but they're not going to be enough. Listen, a military chopper went down near the village. None of the poor bastards on board survived the crash, but their weapons might have. Head over there and see what you can salvage. I'll try. And get back here as soon as you can. If those things attack while you're gone, we're finished. Oh, for fuck's sake! Do not turn that thing on until we're set up to defend ourselves. Let's get set up here, man. Too bad this pump is so damn loud. I'm at the chopper, and there's not much left of it. Inside, there's got to be something we can use. HMGs. Guess you do have a good idea once in a while. All right, then. Come on back and we'll get this party started. Do not turn that thing on until we're set up Keep to defend ourselves. That pump is basically a dinner bag. Every dead asshole in this area. Watch out! Hi, come here. Oh man, maybe we should just bail it out with buckets. You got this. We just have to hold on long enough. These aggro bastards like it loud. Let's give them a little heavy metal. Get the hang of this. Watch out! Guns alone won't do it. We need to use the mines. Hey, come here. I left some things Oi. in the line. Let's get on with it. All right, you sure? Everybody ready? Sure. All right then. You better get out there and give the others a hand. Surrounding us! From a 
This plan into action. That's it. Watch your step is step everybody, everybody still open. alive? We don't know what's down there. Watch yourself. I don't know. Something tells me we haven't seen the last of them. Can we not do that again? Huh. Ah. Hi, come here. We did it. The water's out. Nice job, everybody. I left some things in Halai.
I'm here. I hope to hell it was the last one. Please, come here. I, I need my all pumped out my and the entrance is wide open. Right then, I'm going in. Stay put and keep an eye out. We don't know what's down there, so be careful. Stay close to the radio. I'll let you know if I find a way through. Good luck. Absolutely. All right, take care down there. We'll follow as soon as we get the all clear from you. There's water everywhere, Harlow. This might have been a bad idea. Just keep going. Those tunnels are the only way to Henderson. All right, I found a control room, and there's a generator in here. Going to see if it starts. Copy that. Got my fingers crossed for you. Good. Now I can see where I'm going. Come on, you piece of shit. The emergency lights are on. Hello? Are you there? Shit, lost her. I gotta find some more light. Please, come here. I'd like to ask you something. I need your help. I left some things in her life. Flares. Someone else must have been through here. Fucking infected are here, too. This damn tunnel had better lead to Henderson. Maybe you'll back the fuck off now! Hopefully there's a generator in here. Hello? Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. These tunnels are shitting all over our radio signal. I was afraid we lost you. What about the chemicals? Have you come across them? No. Maybe our boys managed to... I can't get in this way. Need to find a different route. Bingo.
Good. Now I can see where I'm going. to piss me off. Oh my god. This place is huge. These tunnels are massive. The Japs left a lot of equipment behind. The Japanese built themselves quite a base down here. That horrible stench. Shit. More chemicals. Good to hear your voice, Harlow. How are you progressing? Not too bad, but there's a lot of chemical barrels down here. Easier said than done, love. There's no avoiding the fumes. I know, and we'll be ready. Just be sure that you... Harlow? I really hope they understand what they're in for. That's all I need. Damn, it's hard to breathe. Good, now I can see.
Hello? Did you find the exit? Yeah, I found it. It's locked, though. Ran into some smugglers. We had a fight. They lost. Look around. Maybe one of those dead smugglers has the key. Let me know when the door's open. I'm heading back outside, Harlow. That's great news. We'll be there as soon as we can. Let's take a look, shall we? I didn't think I'd ever see daylight again. Mate, are you okay? Shit. What happened to you? Some... Somebody pushed... me. Hey, man, what happened? Who pushed you? Stay away! What the hell is that? That fuck would put all of us in danger! What? What is it? Oh, shit! What? He's gonna turn! Maybe we can restrain him. Oh, God. No. There's nothing to be done. I knew he was bitten, so I pushed him. You what? What the hell were you thinking? He was already lost. You would have left him behind. But I had to know what that mutagen would do to someone who was infected. Oh my god! What the fuck? Jesus! Look at him! Come here. I'd like to ask you something. Who would build a highway this size on such a tiny island? Someone with too much bloody... Is there something I can do? If I can electrify the fences, those damn things will fry when they run into them. But I need a power source. Cables and batteries should do it. Will you bring me some? Later. Fine. But don't come bitching to me when those things get in here. I, I need left your some help. things in her life. Kill him! Ah! Fuck! He's gonna kill us all! Can you bring me a few things? I need my thoughts for now. Wayne! What the fuck, man? Wayne! Wayne! Headshot!
You're not gonna change too, are you? Someone has to find the road I to Henderson. I already told you. We have we to know what we're here. dealing with. We need to get everyone to Henderson as soon as possible. These islands, the well, how do I get to Henderson from here? We're going to have to cross a small bay. There used to be an old ferry that the locals used to get back and forth. See if you can get it going. Once you've found a way across, the rest of us will link up with you. Are you ready? I'll do what I can. Watch your back. We'll join you once you've cleared the way. I heard that some escaped prisoners might be in the area. Be careful. Hey, come here. Do you understand? The entire fucking world. I am sorry about Wayne. I am. But if his death means millions of others can live. Kessler, pick up! Some crazy shit is happening and I need your help. What happened? Are you alright? I warned you about going through those tunnels. There was a bloke with us. He got drenched in those fucking chemicals and then he mutated. What the fuck is going on, Kessler? Is that gonna happen to me? I honestly don't know. He had to be infected. Otherwise exposure to those chemicals wouldn't have resulted in a mutation. They would have made him ill, perhaps fatally so. But that would have been the extent of it. That must be the ferry station. It's a little too quiet for my liking. Maybe they'll let me pass without a fight. Hey, fellas. You don't mind if I pass through here, do you? No, we don't care. As long as you pay us what we want, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I should have known. What do you want? Everything you're carrying. Money, weapons, ammo, supplies, all of it. Now hand it over. See, we were having a polite conversation and you bastards had to go and fuck it up. Fine. We'll just kill you and then take your shit. Makes no difference to me. Don't let him live. Die, you piece of shit. <laughs> to me holy shit are you there Kessler answer me yes I'm here has something happened yeah you could fucking say that I went into some kind of rage just call down there's no reason to get hysterical now it sounds like the virus has mutated but it appears to be very minor I don't think you're in any real danger, but you definitely want to limit your exposure to any additional mutagens. How comforting. And what happens if I go bananas again? I suspect you have had similar symptoms before, but none so overwhelming. The fury you're feeling, that is the result of the mutation. It amplifies the release of large quantities of corticosteroids from the adrenal cortex. Mutation will not progress if you can avoid exposure to the mutagen again. But continual exposure can cause further, even more dangerous mutations. Turning you into something, uh, something quite horrifying. Perhaps instead of viewing this as a negative, you should embrace it. Learn to control it. Focus it. Given the state of the world, a little extra something can be a bad thing. Am I right? Now. If you will excuse me, I have uh, a situation to deal with. It's gotta be close.
You have to help me! Help! Oh, please! Please don't kill me! It's okay, I'm here to help. Unlike those assholes who were holding you prisoner. I was going to Henderson to try and find my family, and those damn prisoners caught me. They said they were going to use me as bait in case the infected attacked. Those bastards. Anyway, my name is Marvin. I owe you one. Do you know how to start the ferry? Help me and we're square. Yeah, of course I know. I worked there for 16 years, give or take. It's right here. I found someone who can operate the ferry. We'll wait for you. Understood. We're on our way. See you soon. Please, come I here. left some things I'd like in her to life. Ask you something. Don't just stand there. Let's go. The engines are really loud, and they're going to attract all of the infected in this area. I want to get out of here as bad as you do, but we need to be ready because once those things start coming. They're not going to stop until either we're dead, or they are. How can I say no? As ready as I'm gonna be. I'll need a couple of minutes to get the engine started. I need your help. I need my book from my clinic. Can you bring me a few things? Have you thought about checking the beach? Will you check on something for me? I left some things in her life. I need your help. I need my book for my clinic. Can you bring clinic. me a few things? Watch it. I left some things in her life. I need your help. Have Be you careful. thought about checking the beach? Will you check on something for me? I need my book from my clinic. Can you bring me a few things? We can't go anywhere until we find some kind of shelter. Maybe you can clear the square and see what's there. We can't stay here out in the open. Let's get out of the rain and hid inside that corrugated shed. Pretty bad. I was really hoping that the infection had made it here. Watch out! I left some things in her life. Can you clear out any buck? Cuz in there? I need your help. We need to find a safe haven. Maybe we can hide inside that shack. It should hold up for a bit, but we no can stay forever. It's strange that the military have hasn't done anything. The Why do they have all that equipment if they're not going to use it? Careful! I need my book for my kids. Can you bring me a few things? There were a lot of soldiers here. They should have been more than capable of handling These dills are wearing me out.
It's clear. There were a lot of soldiers here. They should have been more than capable of handling the outbreak. Once we're holding up, I'll move your ass. You want to get nuked? Breaks. Someone needs to recon the city. Okay. Handle on things. Standing around here accomplishes nothing. It's true, this looks pretty bad. I was really hoping. If the infection had made it here. Tierra is still standing. We need to stay focused, understand? It's the only way we're getting out of this. Once we're secure, we can worry about what's You said about something about a safe place? How far away is it? There's an old movie theater called Jacqueline's. It don't have any exterior windows, so once the doors are barricaded, we should be fairly safe. It also has a bar, or used to anyway, so once we're over there, we'll have plenty to eat and drink. Jacqueline should still be there, assuming she survived. She loved that place, and I no can imagine her abandoning it. So, what you think? Will you go check it out? Yeah. The theater shouldn't be far from here. Let me know when you get over there. Fuck people, move your ass! You wanna get nuked? Good luck out there. Please, come here. I'd like to ask you something. and getting worked up. The military might have just pulled that. It's true, this looks pretty bad. I was really hoping that the infection had made it here. Need a key for that gate. The front of the cinema's all bugged, Marvin. No way I can go in that way. Is there another entrance? No! No! This must be the back entrance. I'm inside, Hardy, but there are infected everywhere. Need to deal with them. Bobby's cleared out, so I'm headed to the auditorium. Thanks for the update. Over.
Merci. Oh, merci beaucoup. Come up here, please, s'il vous plaît. You're not from Henderson, are you? First time I've set foot in this town. I'm with some other survivors, and we want to fortify your cinema. Use it for shelter. There's more than enough room for everyone. That won't be a problem. You need to fortify all of the entrances first, though. Make sure those beasts can't find another way in. There are security shutters at the front and rear of the building. The rear shutter hasn't been used in ages, though. To activate it, you'll need a key from the lodge. Thank you again. If it wasn't for you, I'd be dead. Can't hurt to look. Huh. You close the shutters? Good. Now it's safe for the others to join us. A hostel in town was turned into a kind of field hospital. You might want to go over there. If you need more information, speak with Cecil. The building's cleared out and should be safe. I also found another survivor. Did you hear that? We're going to be all right. We are on our way. Thanks again for rescuing me. I thought for sure I wouldn't survive. It looks like you could all use a place to heal and rest up. This is hopeless. Where will we go? They're already there. Well, at least we have a roof over our heads here. When the plague first hit, everyone left. I thought the authorities would eventually come, so I stayed behind. I was worried about looters. Little did I know that would be the least of my worries. Everything I own is in this theater. I couldn't bear to leave it behind. But now, after all that's happened, I'd like to go with you. You're welcome to come, but no promises. We're all in the same boat here, and as far as I can tell, this son of a bitch is sinking. Any luck contacting the base? No. Maybe their radio's down. What the hell happened here? The disease spread so quickly, the army created a quarantine zone. They said they had it under control. But they did. From the outside, the base looks intact. As I said, Commander Briggs is a friend of mine. This base is our only chance for rescue. We must get in there. I wouldn't. The military abandoned this town and everyone in it. They locked themselves in that base. Anyone who approached, anyone seeking shelter, was shot. After a while, people stopped trying. Bloody heroes, eh? Jesus. Look, they must have thought those citizens were infected. Otherwise, they would never have done something like that. Sure they would. Just like they did in Benoit, just like Norlis. Man, that's just how it works. Is Harlow here? I thought she was with you. Who saw her last? I... I thought... We ran like crazy. 
I thought she was with us. Fuck! You left her behind, just like you'd leave us all. Jesus Christ, woman. Get a grip. Or what? You gonna hit her? Chima is right. All you immunes are getting a little crazy. Crazy how? What the hell are you saying? You don't trust us now? Well, maybe we don't fucking trust you. Everybody, just calm down. It's the chemicals, the mutagens. Look at them. They can barely control themselves. Come on, people. We've gone too far to give up now. Stay here while you check the base. If the guards make trouble, I'll talk to them on the radio. It's the only way we're getting out of this alive. Do your job. We're leaving no one behind. We should check out the rest of the town. See if there's any way out of here that don't involve that motherfucking military base. Hey, I told you this place Keep was perfect, didn't I? Up, but, uh, and thank you for saving Jacqueline. Here, here, take Everyone some of this. Henderson would be it's the least I can do. I wish we could get to the docks, but the entire shore is jammed up. I guess the military base is our only choice. The military shot civilians? No, I don't know if I believe that. What the fuck happened to Harlow? Protect us, right? That woman got Maybe some explaining to do. Defending themselves against the infected. Please come here. I'd like to ask you something. As far as I'm concerned, we should get the hell away from here. I don't trust the military. I left okay, some things. Okay, I'll in head the line. up to the military base. The base's defensive grid and alarm system are probably active, so the soldiers will attack at the first sign of intrusion. If that's the case, you'll need to blow the gate and proceed inside. Just be careful about it, all right? We don't need to start World War Three. If any of the soldiers try any shit, tell them that I sent you. Like I said before, the commander, Colonel Briggs, is an old friend of mine. When you find him, get him on the horn and I'll talk to him. He'll help us out. Ready to go? Okay, no worries. Godspeed. I'll stay in touch via the radio. What the fuck happened to Harlow? That woman got some explaining to do. I look out! I can't believe the soldiers were shooting civilians. You bloody beauty. Explosives. Got my hands on some C4. Good. Now head for the main base and keep me apprised of the situation. I'm going in. Keep your eyes open and watch where you step. They might have mined the interior of the base as a last line of defense. It's what I'd do. Do you ever deliver good news? <laughs> Made it inside, Hardy, but all the lights are off. Looks like there's no power. Shit. All right, listen. There should be a secondary generator down in the basement. See if you can get it running. We're too late, Hardy. There are bodies everywhere. Fuck. All right. We can make it through this. Get the power back up and running. If the transmitter still works, we can use it to radio for help. What's this here?
I got the generator back online, Hardy. Okay. Head for the comm station. It's on the top floor. Just take the stairs up. And let's just keep our fingers crossed that the transmitter's still in one piece. Blocking the entrance to the comm station. Any ideas? That should put out the fire. bastards. I'm back at the comm station, Hardy. Going to give that transmitter a shot. Copy that. Let me know what happens. Yeah, I bet that fucking hurts. Briggs? Is this Colonel Briggs? Briggs is dead. Who's this? Lieutenant Colonel Sam Hardy sent me. I'm here in Henderson with a group of survivors and we need an immediate evac. Look, I'd like to help you, but I can't. Sorry. You'll have to hang tight. What the hell is wrong with you people? First you abandoned Benoit, now Pal and I? Benoit? How do you know about Benoit? You say Hardy sent you? Wait a second. You're one of the immune. I met you on the ship. Remember me, Serpo? Serpo? You're the fuckwit who left us on the ship. Look, 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 I'm sorry about that. We're, we're trying to help people here. We're working on a vaccine. Right, and as soon as you find it, you'll nuke the whole bloody island. You must think I'm an idiot. Where the hell did you hear that? Nuke the island? Like, did Hardy tell you that? Because if he did, that's bullshit. Yeah? So what's the real story, Serpo? I'm, uh... Hold on a second. What? Harlow? Are you positive? Okay, get her. Do it. Just don't let her get away. Sorry about that. Time's running short. I'm sending you a chopper. What's your location? Old Town Cinema. Watch yourself with Hardy. The man cannot be trusted. That chopper is on its way. Serpo is playing you, you know. Why did you lie about the island being bombed, Hardy? I had to get you to move, all of you. And the threat of a nuke was the only way. And it worked, didn't it? I got us here, after all. I simply did what I had to do. You're nothing but a goddamn liar. I'm not trying to make fucking friends, right? I'm trying to get us off this damn island, all of us. And the simple fact is that when Serpo gets here, he's not going to rescue these people. He only wants you. And I'll be damned if I let everyone else die, understand? And that's why we're taking the chopper from him. You mean the chopper that doesn't even know how to find us? 
Great plan, Hardy. Getting their attention is the easy part. We just need to burn something on the roof. Something that pumps out a lot of smoke and is easy to control. You worry about that and I'll take care of the rest. We could burn those old movie reels. Not like anyone's ever going to watch them again. That's a good idea. Especially since it means we won't have to go outside and scavenge for things to burn. But you'll have to convince Jacqueline to let us burn them. Go talk to her. How can I say no? We only need a handful of those reels, not all of them. Get those reels to the roof as soon as you can. I don't want to miss the chopper. Tell me when you're ready. I'll meet you up there. Do we have Jacqueline? I have a big favour to ask of you. A rescue chopper is on its way and we need to burn some of your movies in a bonfire so that it can find us. You can't be serious. Can't we just collect some wood? Cardboard boxes? Many of these are very rare originals. This is the only way. And besides, what good are those old movies if we're all dead? You're right. Of course. I'm sorry. I keep thinking in terms of how the world used to be, and not what it's turned into. There are some old genre films in a box. Please, take as many as you need. Good on you, Jacqueline. You may just have saved us all. So sad, isn't it? That the first casualty is always culture. I want to get away from here as soon as possible. I hope it works. You got any bright ideas? There's a stage in the plaza, a place for concerts, things like that. If the speakers still work, you should be able to turn them on. And with some luck, the sound will draw those things away from here. Use noise to draw them away. That could work.
Fine. Wait for help. Harry's been lying to us this entire time. I thought we could trust him. Please. So come many here. good people like are gone. They should be remembered for who they were, for their kindness. As you're moving through the town, if you happen to find family photographs of the people here, can you collect them? I want to honor them. Ask me again later. We have to keep the memory of this place and the people. I need my book from my clinic. You get the whole picture from up here, don't you? The quaint historic town and the miserable slums the tourists never see? It's the same everywhere. The people who do the real work get the shit end of the stick. There's no CD. Damn it. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Right now, or you get none of us. I told you this would happen. I'm getting on. Sir! 
Take one more step and I have no choice but to open fire! Why are you doing this? Drop your weapon! Lower your weapon, now! Get off the ladder, sir! Don't you threaten us! You will answer for your actions, soldier! Land, now, or we shoot you down! Put it down or you die! This is my last warning, sir! I have my orders! Serpo's still alive, we might be able to use him as a bargaining chip. Get the military to send in another chopper. Let's get moving. I've had goes, enough of this place. I had so we many good go. friends here. here. I when I arrived, they were so welcoming, so warm. Hi, come here. I have made so many mistakes. I had so many good friends here. When I arrived, Please, they were so here. welcoming, I'd like to ask so you warm. Something. I left some things in her life. Such a fool! Hi, come here. Christ on the cross, such this was good a bad people. idea. And now what? I can't believe that so chopper many was our only gone. hope. Fucking Serpo, once I get my hands on him. Yeah, it's worth a try. I can always try and patch up the chopper. Hell, maybe Serpo knows another way off the island. Maybe we should follow that chopper. I'll do what I can. I think it crashed somewhere near the old fort. Just follow the smoke. How's the chopper? Is it operational? Huh, for a second there, I thought we were <laughs> Nah, this isn't over here. If Serpo's still alive, we might... Where's Frank Serpo? I, I don't know. We crashed and those things were all around us. How did you get here? Did he bring you? Uh, what? Fuck no. That bastard doesn't think about anyone but himself. He was halfway here before I even got out of the wreckage. He shot the other pilot. Left him behind to distract the infected. I barely made it. Fuck, listen to me. When you find him... You kill him. Understand? Kill him. You're going to pay for this, Serpo. You killed Hardy! Oh, please. You're worried about that fucking idiot? Jesus Christ. Listen, it's better him than you. Am I right? Do you think I'd forget what you did, motherfucker? I never forget. Take a look around. Do you really think this shit is gonna sort itself out? Jesus, it's, it's all on the line, you understand? All of it! Call for another chopper right now, or I'm gonna toss your ass to those things. Another chopper? Are you fucking kidding me? You don't have a fucking clue what's really happening here, do you? Fine, out you go! Just take a look at yourself. <laughs> the rage. Fury, it's building up inside you. Yeah, it's getting harder to control, isn't it? Yeah, and worst of all, it's always there, waiting to come out. Uh, even if you do manage to escape, then what? How do you know what's happening to me? Harlow, it's the same as you. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, she went to the quarantine zone. I was planning on using a boat to escape. Mm, we caught her. She's trying to steal a bunch of data from the lab. Fucking bitch. Yeah, she really thought she was gonna get away with it, too. Get away with what? She was gonna turn that info over to the WHO, blow the lid off this place. The World Health Organization? Really? Look, she is nothing more than a garden variety fucking terrorist. She was gonna take the virus, and she was gonna take the vaccine, sell it to whoever backed a truckload of money up to her door. There's a vaccine? Where is it? She's got it. And if you want it, you're gonna have to go and get it. Yeah, she 
not gonna give it up willingly, though. Huh. I can guarantee you that. Uh, yeah, it's worth a shitload of money to her. You're gonna have to kill her. You and me are still going to settle up, Serpo. Hey, I'm at the fort. It looks like a good place to hide out. Come on over. Quarantine zone be than this shit. We need to be faster than Harlow. Get to her before she takes off in that boat. Okay, look. Do we have a plan? Or are we just wading right into this shit, sight unseen? We need to be faster than Harlow. Get to her before she takes off in that boat. I left. I need your help. Suicide right here and now, and save everyone the trouble. Please, come here. You're just gonna I leave Serpo here? Something. Serpo's still a dangerous little bastard, so keep an eye on him while I'm gone. If he tries anything, put a bullet in one of his legs. Don't worry, I'll stay on top of him. And if he decides to fuck with me, he'll learn right quick that I can fuck with him as well. Ready to go down there? Okay. If Serpo thinks Harlow's gonna use a ship to escape, that means there's still one docked somewhere in the quarantine zone. Once you're in there, look for it. It could be our only way out of this. I don't know what to do. I need my so books for my The first gate is out of the question. There's hundreds of them on the other side. Second's probably the same. Go check it out anyway. Maybe you'll figure out a way to get in. Damn, it's the same here. But there's a bulldozer nearby. Maybe I can take down the gate? Bulldozer? Wait, someone's got a better plan. Tell them. Yes, you can make the bulldozer even more deadly. Load it with something flammable. Fuel canisters. Oh! Make sure it gets past the gate. And the ah! Load the bulldozer up with explosives. Sounds like a plan. I'll put on four canisters. Maybe I'll add some more just to be sure. I'm setting it off. Keep your fingers crossed. Enough! You don't have to do this! I have to! It's gone too far now! Try to control it, Dahl. You can do I it! I am trying! But all this never should have happened! Help me destroy it! Bury it! All of it! We can't let them use it anymore! We can't let them do what they did to Pal and I. Not again! What are you saying? They did this! The outbreak on Pal and I, it was them to test their bioweapons. And the mutagen, it will destroy us all. You won't be able to control it. It will control you. What about the antidote? Don't you understand? There is no antidote. They caught me when I tried to sneak in here. They tested the mutagen on me, not knowing what it would do. They didn't know I was immune like you. Look what it turned me into. I killed them all. We won't be able to stop it. That's why we have to destroy it before it destroys everything. Harlow, we can control it. We can escape here and look for help. There is no help. We can't escape. None of us can. We're too dangerous. We can never leave this island. Ever. Hello, please! What 
Watch out! Careful! <laughs> Die, you fugly mutt! I just keep getting better. If you don't back off, I'll take the mutagen. Then there will be no stopping me. If this is the price I need to pay in order to save the world, I pay it freely. You've got to be bloody kidding me. Jesus, she's going to turn into one of those giant freaks. Christ, she keeps mutating. She's bloody invincible! One shot should do it. It shouldn't do too much damage, right? I can control it. I'm sure I can. Looks like I'm back to normal. At least, I hope so. What have you done to me? Look around you. Don't you see? You leave this island and the whole world will look like this. You are the angel of death. I'm sorry, Harlow. You gave me no choice. We immune are the only hope. Time to find that bloody cutter. Ow! You killed Harlow, right? Now, are you positive she's dead? She told me what you did, you bastard. What did you expect? That we tested in London or New York? Come on. Don't be naive. We had to get information, data, about how the virus mutates, how it evolves, if it's possible to control it. You could only do so much of that in the lab. You're fucking insane! We can discuss the morality of the situation later. For now, I have a ship and a medical team standing by. All of their equipment is state-of-the-art. Once we're on board, you have my word that we'll do whatever it takes to treat you. Now that I know where the cutter is, I don't need your help. I know you took a mutagen. I can see it plain as day. You can't control it. You can't stop it. If you want any chance of a normal life, you need to come with me. Fuck off, Servo. You'll see. You, you can't leave me here! You fucking freaks! Get back here, you fucking freaks! You don't know what you're doing!
thank you for coming back for us. I am so very sorry. I lost faith in you. How are you feeling? A-okay, Doc. <laughs> Never better. I have a little headache, but otherwise I'm perfectly fine. <sighs> the Serper. Yeah. He won't be bothering us anymore. What about Harlow? We... We couldn't help her. Yeah, she decided to stay. Authorities in Banoi and Palanai report that the crisis is over. Life is slowly returning to normal as rescue crews clean up the aftermath of the monsoon that swept through the archipelago. All travel to and from the region is still prohibited as the rescue operation continues. Rumours of a possible plague outbreak have been discredited as international relief organisations continue to assess the situation. Brain, conduct a wrong, my son, I'll be trained, all aboard, kill a broad, leave a bloody, soak the stain, won't play game.